Hello, everybody. We're going back into the game of planets, and inside we are going to find my first time going back in after setting up the game. And so some time has passed, so perhaps I get to do some things that I want to do. So let's take a look. So first, usually what you do, you go to your game messages, check out what's going on. So the science station Mark 1 has been built on Sparta. Surface scan Sparta has completed one metal alloy was found in previous unknown deposit. So on every colony, if you have a science station, you can do a surface scan and then you just keep pressing the button and then you keep getting resources. Science station Mark 1 has been built on Sparta. Telescope study of your you know, has completed. So the telescope is the way you learn about everything. So if you click that and then click any planet with a little question mark, now it takes six days or, you know, about six minutes to um, scan that particular colony. And then you get a download of what planets are there and uh, your research goes up because research right now, colonies are bringing in 26 points from the ships, zero from stations, 49 from telescope studies, one and from planetary survey, zero. So at the beginning of the game, it's very important to get your research points up. Because if your research points go up, then your time for how much this takes, because this takes one month in order to get this drive. So that's two hours. One month is two hours. So the more research points you get, the faster you go through these, your research. And in this game, research is everything. And so basically, you're going to have two ways to do it. You're going to be pressing the button to get telescopes or you're going to send out research ships. So if you about every six minutes, this finishes and then you click another planet. And in the second game, uh, Darth Vader pressed them all. There's 1600, I think, solar uh, systems out here. And he pressed them all like within the first month or so. And so he was way ahead of, I think I pressed it 200 times. I mean, depends on how much you want to get into the game. But if you want to get ahead in the game basically you learn to keep pressing the telescope over and over again so you can have it in the background and then whenever you think of it you click press telescope and then it goes off again and so it's not really linked into some great intelligence that is necessary but i guess like a lot of games there's a there's grinding that you have to do so the, the, this is the grinding in this game early on is that you keep pressing telescopes onto planets and you build science ships and then the science ships go to the different solar systems and then they scan each planet one at a time. And so you want to get a bunch of science ships out. But if you get science ships out, and I've seen this with other players, there's these different drives. The first drive is very slow and barely, you can barely leave your system. And so you don't really want to send science ships out into the space until you've got your quantum drive going. And so that's a pretty big tip in terms of um, you want to get your research points up. The only way to do it with the telescope or with your science vessels. And so you want your science vessels to have the, the faster drive because it takes quite a while to go to another system. It really does. So now we go to colonies and we check out what's going on in our one colony. The planetary shipyards is three weeks away. Um, so for a month is like an hour. So we have 26 research points and we have 19 industrial points in this gauges, how fast you research or how fast you build, um, click another surface scan to get going. So we have to wait a bit and, uh, what should we build next? So they say training facilities. Okay, so there's facilities, upgrades, geotechs, defenses, and ships. So the ships you can't build until you get your shipyards going. So your facilities, you've got different a mining type, metal alloy expansion, lanthanide expansion, um, and halogen and actinide. So all of these build and then it increases your uh, amount that you get as a multiple for how much you get 
every day in terms of those resources, but they cost quite a few resources if you can see at the bottom. So there's five different resources here. And as you can see for the actinite expansion, it takes two of the uh, actinides, it takes 11 of the halogens, it takes seven of the metal alloys, it takes four of the lanthanides, and it takes five of the organics. So look around, what do we want? Defenses, training facilities. As soon as you get the training facilities up, then you start to build uh, an army out of your 9 billion people here. So it's a good thing to get your training facilities going. And generally you don't wanna have both going at the same time. You pause one and then the other goes quicker. And that's just a sort of a good habit to get into. So here we have, that's it. Just a quick little in and out. And uh, this is it. You go in and out of the game and you make little decisions and then you monitor things and then you go back to whatever your normal world is. So this game really teaches you to think at the planetary level. It, it has you sort of budget between military versus peaceful options. And until you start to meet other empires, you don't have to worry about military options. But depending upon if you have someone near you who is of the uh, attacking mindset, because in this game, most of the people aren't. They just want to build their empires and sort of be left alone. But in the past few games we played, there are a number of people who don't want to play that way. And they're like Darth Vader. And so you have to build up your military to defend yourself against such people. Or if you feel like you want to go around attacking people, then you have to build your military. But if you build your military too quickly, you don't build your infrastructure. And you need the infrastructure to build the military. So in the beginning of the game, you don't really have to worry about being attacked unless somebody's very close because people should be pretty uh, spread out and everyone is operating at a very low level of technology. And so in the beginning, you want to sort of focus on getting your science vessels out and uh, getting your infrastructure set up. So it means a lot of research and it means a lot of pressing of buttons to uh, get your telescope and your science vessels scanning the... Uh, the solar systems. So that's episode number two of the Game of Planets tutorial with Captain Sweet. Great to see you and uh, see you on the next uh, episode.